Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm Ivy Rivera, Psychic Medium, coming to you with your extended weekly horoscope for Monday, April 29th to Sunday, May 5th. want to invite you to join me for my weekly live show on Facebook and Instagram. It's called Ask a Medium. I take your personal questions and I give your short scope for the week. That's going to be April 30th at 9 p.m. Eastern at Ivy Angela Rivera. Now, what is going on with you Pisces for this week on Monday. I have money in the bank. I'm also hearing use it wisely. There could be something once and for all getting worked out with a settlement. And I'm also hearing watch out for people that glitter but aren't gold. Maybe someone who thinks that they are and they really don't have very much to offer. I have someone coming to you who is in a power position, talking, 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 saying all the right things, but you may get a strange sense from this person that their words don't have depth. I wanna say that this is a great time to learn the difference between what someone says, what their body language says, and what their energy says. Always go with the energy. Now, this person is all talk, no action. So they could just disappear or the things that they're saying could just evaporate and there is no potential. So you are not to change your direction or to change your thoughts and thinking pertaining to the topic that they bring in. On Tuesday, I'm seeing all kinds of support coming to you from your peers, from your coworkers, whatever it is. And it seems to me that these people are in a unique position because they love you, they just adore your personality and all of this. They're in a unique position to build you up and get you some new opportunities. Now, the interesting thing about that is that while I'm looking at work and money, all of a sudden, I also saw love life. So they could very well be hooking you up with someone you're extremely compatible with and who even seems to be on the same process where you are in work and money or they just finished that part of the process in their own personal life and it just seems to pair up very, very nicely. So enjoy that. On Wednesday, we have an issue that could also be coming up on Thursday. So either way, where I'm seeing some hidden things being revealed and there could be a work disappointment, there could be something coming to the surface that makes me feel like you no longer sense the stability that you had hoped to have there and you do need to analyze that in a real way. I'm also hearing that if there was something that you lied about, if there was something that you've been hiding, it could come to the surface. So you're really going to want to fess up quickly, apologize quickly, correct that situation straight away and immediately. I'm watching you go out um, Thursday and Friday here we have a connected theme, so it could be either or, but I saw you bowling. If you don't enjoy bowling, something else that you might be doing with your friends that would be along that line. I saw you socializing and having a great deal of fun, but really needing to take a breather and get out and socialize versus what might be your temptation on that day, which is just to stay inside with your Netflix or with a book and hibernate. This isn't a great time for you to hibernate, so do get out there and explore. Explore. Now on Friday, I'm seeing a potential situation with, um, with a lover where they could be leaving the scene and they could be confessing something or you may be finding something out about their life, about their choices, about anything that they've been doing that they wanted to keep in a hidden little world. Now with this, it's almost as though you knew, but you didn't know. So you maybe had some suspicion, but you never really confronted it or dug deep enough, and this person never allowed it to come to the surface, and now it has happened. So what you're supposed to be learning from this, the lesson is, Follow your gut at all times and never skim over red flags. So the minute you feel something going on, you need to take off those rose colored glasses. You need to go find out what it is a bit sooner. And um, I almost feel like the smartest thing to do after this happens is not to sit around and mope about it. Go out, have a good time, release some stress. You'll have time to reflect on this later. For right now, you need to get your energy level up.
okay? On Saturday and Sunday, I am hearing now you can go ahead and get lost in the book and hibernate inside for a while. There's also talk of an increase in your money and a job opportunity coming. So if you find yourself in a position um, where you realize there's a new job coming and you're wondering if you could juggle both, do I need to let go of one? Should I just add in a second one? I'm honestly feeling for you that you may just want to add on more and even if it seems like I can't possibly juggle both of these try until things work out in a more stable manner and uh, through natural evolution the one just sort of tapers off okay I hope you guys have a great week and I hope to see you for the Ask a Medium show Tuesday April 30th at 9 p.m. Eastern at uh, Ivy Angela Rivera Facebook live Instagram live and if you want to book a reading with me in the meantime you can click the link below thanks